from My Name is Earl. Well, now I go through airports and they're like, you're a hooker. One of my nephews is Buster Leroy and didn't he shoot your daddy one time? To independent film Winter's Bone. It's usually people run from me because of the roles I've played. Del Dickey breaks Hollywood's cookie cutter mold. I'm character actress and I love them. They're usually gritty and you know, tough. Dale developed a love of theater and performance at an early age. She grew up acting on this stage with the Clarence Brown Theater Company. They would call and say, we need a kid in the ensemble. Can, can Dale come and play? And of course I was like, Mom, let me go. And when she wasn't in front of an audience, Dale was playing on a much bigger stage. And we were in the Smoky Mountains every weekend. By the time Dale entered UT as a theater major, she had dozens of plays to her credit. I had great training here. After college, Dale and three fellow UT students moved to the Big Apple, determined to be a theater actress. Yeah, it was culture shock. I did so many off, 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 off Broadway plays. Dell had a hard time getting representation and grew to resent the Ivy League students who seemed to have an easier time. That is, until a professor set her straight, saying, I taught at Juilliard. I've seen those kids that come out of there. Every one of you that came out of this University of Tennessee, I don't care if it was a liberal arts college, are equally as talented, if not more. So get, you know, get over it and walk into the room proudly. Finally, in 93, she landed a role in the television show Christy, which was shot back home in East Tennessee. I'd done a couple of student films, but that gave me some really great on-camera experience. After 11 years in New York City, Dale had enough. And being such an outdoors person, I felt so trapped in New York. She headed west to LA and secured some guest starring roles. Dale was playing a heroin addict when co-star David Keith introduced her to Steven Spielberg. My hair was stringy. And Dave was like, come on, let's go meet Mr. Spielberg. And I'm like, what? David, I'm in handcuffs. He's like, he'll love it, he'll love it. And he drags me over and introduces me to Mr. Spielberg. <laughs> From CSI to ER, Dale scored guest starring roles on dozens of TV shows. Then came My Name is Earl. Patty the Daytime Hooker, just because it's so much fun. Daytime Hooker, nighttime waitress. And what a blast. Especially when Betty White played her mother. And I thought I was going to faint. So that was a thrill. As for films, Dale's work side by side many Hollywood A listers, from Sean Penn and Jack Nicholson in The Pledge to Clint Eastwood and Angelina Jolie in Changeling. So it's like, you see beautiful Angelie, and then it's me. <laughs> uh, I was just the screaming patient. The last four years have been quite a ride. Shooting him like I settled it. In 2008, Dale was cast in a movie called Winter's Bone. Winter's Bone, which came out of nowhere, and who'd have thought it would have such a life? The drama slash thriller received four Oscar nominations. And the Spirit Award goes to... Dale Dickey, Winter's Bone. And Dale earned an Independent Spirit Award for Best Supporting Actress. In 2009, she returned home, playing her favorite role yet, Blanche in the Clarence Brown production of Streetcar Named Desire. It was such a great, uh, great experience doing Streetcar here. I have trouble talking about it. And 2012, well, it's off to a great start. Several movies and a recurring role in the popular HBO vampire series True Blood. Dell isn't taking one bit of it for granted. I've still got my waitress shoes in the closet. You know, you just never know. But I'm very, very grateful that I've been able to make my living as an actress. Dale Dickey. This is a magical place. Born in Knoxville. It's always feels like home when I come back. Homegrown in Tennessee.